Yeah, like you never know, man. Yeah, and you know, needs a player that can do that, right? If, yeah. if any player can do a mind game with a blind pick, it's, it's neat because you, you just don't know. And uh, yeah, we've talked about it a bit, but yeah, nobody can be 100% sure what he's thinking right now. Right. That's it, man. So let's see. But yeah. Like, we mm -hmm. saw at Gamers 8 that he went for the Brian, and I, I think that, you know, Brian, he, he thought, you know, when we were in Jordan um, for the Fate Invitational, he was playing versus Bilal Zakuma, and he said that I feel like Brian can be a pretty good matchup because you see the Orbital can go over the down twos, down threes, the mm -hmm. three plus fours we saw early on as well with Low Hyvers and Mulgold can keep out Akuma really well when he tries to go for some of these moves. Mm -hmm. um, so there are options, and we saw that already at Gamers 8, close, close matches, but has Ni figured out something else? Has he been in the lab after Saudi Arabia and figured something out in this matchup? He gets the run back though, and it's going to be in Korea this time, Gerald. Wow, and you know what? I think I see uh, I think I see a blanket over over knee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like a jacket or something. Yeah, knee is uh, <laughs> has hidden his uh, his hands. Yep. Yeah, so he's, he's using this little bag which you can uh, hide your your hands with. Of course, he doesn't want to see. He doesn't have his opponent looking at his uh, buttons or looking at his, his arcade stick. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, let's see what the characters are going to be. You can see in the bottom right corner. What do you think, Gerald? I think it's got to be Brian Feng, right? Yeah. I mean, I just. Can never be 100 percent sure. This is this is really interesting. Uh, of course, uh, Atif is gonna pick no, 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 Akuma. No, 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 wait, no, wait. That's part of the mind game. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is part of the mind game. This is part of the mind game. This is for the audience. Katarina! Oh my Katarina, god! Really? Okay. He knows something. Okay, okay. Yeah, and you know, Atif must be thinking right now. Like, does he know something? Does he, yeah. does he know something I don't know? Like, that's part of the mind game, right? It's. Katarina. Now, thinking about this matchup, there's certain things that Akuma can do well versus Katarina. I mean, he can punish those lows, which we do, we swore CBM couldn't. That's the right. Four yeah. four four is a guaranteed yeah. punish uh, from Atif. Look at the, the tattoo ten frames. It's a mid, a ten frame mid, which most characters don't have. So the four 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 gets completely shut down as well. Yeah. So, but I wonder, does Atif know the matchup? Is he comfortable in the Katarina matchup? Not, not many Katarinas outside of Casimir, right? So this is gonna be interesting. Either way, let's let's get into it. Me nee versus Atif. <laughs> Yeah. Win is quarterfinals here. Wow. Let's go. Uh, yeah. This is kind of the run back from, uh, from Gamers 8. Yeah. And he's been thinking about this. Oh, so I saw the guy in the chat saying that, you know, oh, it's going to be Fang, you know. Yeah. Okay, well, you know. Okay, Magic 4. Nice. Funnily enough, the last time I saw Nii actually play Katarina was in Jordan. <laughs> you know, oh, in casuals, yeah. you know. Huh. Hang on, this is a good start. Oh, oh wow. my God. All right. Okay. Good start for me. Yeah, very good start for me. Oh, yeah, Katarina, yeah. I've been saying for a long time, Gerald, that I feel like is a very heavily underrated character. Yeah. With the kind of stuff that she can do, the damage she can get. Um, yeah, she's yeah. she's heavily underrated and super, super strong. But you have to be careful that is Akuma. And we talk about strong characters, he's the strongest. All right, yeah. Atif. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. He's kind of playing it slow right yeah. now. Little pokes here and there. Yeah, that's it. And you yeah. always got to be so mindful for the counter hits as yeah. well from um, from Katarina. One four 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 one down forward four, and it could be curtains for you. Jump in there, yeah. And again, yep. Side step yeah, jab for the for yeah. the um, anti. Yeah. Knee is so ready for that. Teeth definitely on notice. Ten seconds. Winding the clock down. Yeah. Yo! Oh, wow. He went for the easy combo though. Hang on. Oh, Ranger. Yeah. It's going to be blocked surely. Yeah. yeah. This is, uh, yeah, there was no time left for uh, mm. me to really do much there. Yeah. All right. So one round apiece here. Wow, look at this. Both players very careful about what buttons they press. <laughs> he does a sweep there. <laughs> <laughs> he does a very punishable move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And sometimes you got to go for it though as well. I mean, Super Akuma, he was talking about how down for the sweep with Akuma is a very good move to use to just catch people sidestepping. Yeah. He doesn't necessarily use it as just a load to get damage. You know, it's a way to stop your opponent from sidestepping. Yeah, it's a conditioning which, tool. Yeah. yeah. We've seen those uh, matches where even Atif has done all these sweeps just in a row just to send a message to the opponent. But yeah. right now it doesn't seem like uh, he wants to do that against me. That's it. Da Ooh. Nice. Okay. Trying to go for down two. Nice. Yeah. Guess the little low parry. Is it going to go to the wall? It's a side wall, unfortunately, yeah. for Nee, but it still gets something with the 1 1 1 string. That's what Atif loves to do, man. Just yeah. run in there and go for the lows. Oh, oh try God, a running dude. three. From point blank. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. oh! I think that's going to kill. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, 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 a yeah. lot of damage there. Oh. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, yeah. down three. 
one day we'll look back at this and be like, why did you <laughs> let that happen? Why did you just allow that to be a thing? <laughs> Okay, so good start for Nii once again, though. Just in the first 10 seconds, getting a nice little healthy life yeah. lead, but still a bar meter and plus frames, and that is not good yeah. for Nii. Doesn't backdash and gets hit by the down three clean hit. Atif's down threes are on point. Oh, oh you had it, you had yeah. It. You had it, but didn't, didn't believe. Uh, believe, yeah. On the, on the, oh. uh, down four, four, no yeah. punish. Oh, yeah. Count Ooh, it. There we go. Is it going to be another sidewall, though? That's the question. Yeah, the sidewall could save him. It's oh, not. No, no, but he didn't get the follow-up after that. Burns a meter. Oh, Good. nice. And Nii did not wait around there. He just, yeah, he went and uh, committed yeah. to an attack. Just commit to the back one too, yeah. As scary as it is to do that against him in that situation. Mm -hmm. Oh, Shit. punish, yeah. Yeah, minus 13. Good punish. Oh, yes. Under hit. Look at the damage. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, it's Again. looking all neat. Oh, yeah. anti-air. Wow. wow. Okay, and it was looking like it was all active. He had me at the wall, but again, wow. like you said, he just challenges him. And yeah. now Arthur's got to think very, very hard this one. This is a great advantage to have for Nii. If you're Nii right now, you know, you have the advantage, you know? Yes. You've won the first game with the Katarina pick. Now, even if you lose, you can switch if you want to. Exactly. And I mean, this was all in the cards. I mean, this is how he's planned it out in his head. And, and it's working. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you know, when you shut down the, uh, the, the demon flips like that, and it's, yeah, it's demoral for any Akuma player and uh, any jumps. And you just... Nii was just so on point. Yeah, and Nii not even using the 4-4-4 at all. Like, you didn't need to. Like, 4-4-4 uh, is a very strong move. 11 frame, counter hit launcher, does a ton mm -hmm. of damage, but not a thing you can do against the Kumo that easily because you are going to get punished guaranteed. Usually it's a mix-up. You know, do they go for a 10 punish or do they go into Harrier and you punish the Harrier, but... Mm -hmm. Akuma doesn't have to worry about that. Having a 10 frame mid with the Tatsu, that's a guaranteed punish there. So, Ni, you know, he, he understands what the weaknesses are in this matchup, but playing it very, very safe. But the walls are in play here soon. There we go. Now, Ni yeah. is one game away from making it into the winners' semifinals versus Artif, but here we go. Okay. So very nice. Start off the uh, game with. Is Kay. that carry optimal by the stage? Uh huh. Oh. Ooh, that could have been launched, yeah. but it wasn't ready for it. Yeah. Pretty fast animation. Oh. Two, two, three. Good confirm. Ooh, look at that. He's twitch ducking. He's looking oh. for that. Oh. Nice. Yeah. While rising three to punish that. Like you were saying, the, yeah, uh, trying to rage up there. Oh. <laughs> I think you tried to rage up, but yeah. by the fourth before. So, yeah, good first round there for Art Diff. He's got a bar meter to work with as well. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. What a block, man! Yeah, that was a sick block. Made him waste his meter. Oh, oh, he's put himself yeah. to the wall though. Ooh, ooh. Two, three, three, two, yeah. three. Mm -hmm. oh, down forward one twos ooh. from Ati. Oh, nice. punish, there we go. Yeah. yeah, and the punish, and he's ready for it. Yeah, you're not gonna get launched on that unless you have meter with a down two and the Ross in three. Oh, here we go. This is gonna be the yeah. round. Yeah, it's so much damage. So two rounds up here, Artif, very very quickly. But can he bring it back? That's the question. The meter is not there right now for Artif, yeah. but he's pushing the pressure. Oof. There's that again. Sweeps. Yep. We haven't seen a lot of those down yeah. fours, but they have. Oh, here we go at the wall. Oh, what's he done? Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> yo, what? Yo. Oh, okay. There's what's going go on? Crazy stuff right now. Oh, gets the wall splat. Yeah. Wow. He peels him off the wall. Yeah. I was, oh, yo, that's dead. Yeah, oh yeah. my god. You gotta be so careful because Katarina with rage of the wall <laughs> is just gonna be death. But Artif brings it back now. What is Nii gonna do? It looks like he's gonna stage select, right? Yeah, it's um does definitely doesn't want to be in that that tiny stage. Um, but it'll be interesting. Okay, abandoned temple. Damn, he's saying. committed. Yeah, Nii he's committed. is committed yeah. to this, and the whole the whole venue is dead silent right now. Yeah. They are. Su I mean, this is a situation. Sometimes you know some crowds get really, really loud, but sometimes you know the crowds can get very They're quiet so because so it's really tense right yeah. now. I mean, you're seeing right now, ladies and lads, history in the making. This is in Korea for the first time. These Pakistani top players playing in a official Tekken World Tour. 
for top eight for tomorrow, guys. Our third first in the year all comes down to this on the abandoned temple as well. That Akuma's <laughs> And this is what I mean by, you know, this top 16 feeling like a top 8. You yeah. Know? I feel like we're already at top 8. Oh, for sure, top 8 style match. <laughs> all right. Ooh, okay, here we go. It all comes down to this. Katarina versus Akuma. Oh, this is me. Oh, and he can see a jump in back one. Yeah. Good damage here. And the carry, of course, Akuma with the crazy carry. Mm -hmm. it wasn't able to get the wall combo, though, unfortunately. Now, knee does bring it back. Back one, two, no. gets hit. Yeah, that might not be punishable for Akuma. It's like minus 14, but it has so much pushback. So, and we know that Akuma doesn't have a lot of range. Oh, he's back into the wall. Oh, oh he could. Oh, he's sidewalking. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, he just got out. Oh, nice, good stuff. Nice. Yeah, Atifa just about to get that bar meter, but he didn't quite. Mm. He has the bar now, though. Nii he does. Up one round. It's not going to be easy to use it, though, because mm. Nii is backdashing. Yeah. So those down threes, as you saw there, are not going to be clean hit. Clean hit meaning that you have to be very close in order for it to combo. Yes. Oh, there it, is. it makes him burn the meter. Big win. Even though he got this uh, this combo, it's still... Only a mini combo, right? Yeah, mini combo, yeah. And that's a down forward for oh. the jump as well. So yep. these jump pins have been really, like, uh, anted by, by Nii. Yeah. While well, Sunday 4, down forward 4, they're working. Mm. Ati with a very big lead right now. What is he gonna do? Ooh, okay. Tip range there with the down three. One round apiece, one game apiece, all yeah. evens, but we've got a bar meter to work yeah. with. Look at the blocking. Perfect blocking, I mean, that's... Defense on point. Yeah, but Ati still keeping the pressure up. Yeah. Still did a good amount of damage, even though he didn't get his down three. Mm. Ooh, there and the we counter go. hit, yes. He was looking for it. Yeah. Now, this is gonna go to the wall relatively easily. What's the combo? Two, three? Yes. Damage. Big damage here. Yo! Oh, the wall splat. Looking not good for a teeth right now. Oh! He didn't have meter. Oh, oh my god! Oh, we went for one, two, trying for. Wall Yo! splat! Oh, oh no! My this god, is going dude. to be. The he round. just got the meter yeah. and was able to use it. Wow. All right, set point now for Artif. This is crazy. Gotta be careful. Counter hit is available for me. Three, three, three. Mm. Tried it. Oh. Like you said, yeah, Akuma does have good tech and stuff <gasps> too. Oh, big block on the down four. Interesting combo here as yeah. well. Can he get the wall? Just, yeah. just about. Oh, great damage here. Damn it, dude. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, oh. It's going to be fun to fun around. No. Oh. But he's within range. Oh. oh. Is that going to be it? Yeah, and I yes. think that's it. And Atif takes it over. Need to get into top eight for tomorrow. Damn. Atif making it into top eight. Winner side here at Uprising 23. A big, a big sigh from the crowd. Like, oh. Yeah. You know? But very closely contested, though. I mean, the Katarina almost.